Star of the Day. Welcome to today's Agronation right here in Nakuru County, Bahati to be precise. We're just doing activities that young people love to do, including riding bicycles. Now, before I introduce formally our Agri star of the day, let's have a quick chat. Now, for you to do well in the space of agriculture, you need to have a lot of knowledge. And that is something that we have had from the numerous farmers that we have spoken to in the show. That is very important. So you learn that which you're trying to grow, learn the skills, and also understand the market trends. Now, in pursuit for knowledge, our Agrikstar, a 25-year-old boy all the way from Nakuru County, went all the way to Embo, a training institute that offers sessions and internship as well on all matters coffee we want to find out what inspired you to do that come let's talk to our star of the day how are you i'm good asante sana kwa kutualika huko kwenyu karibu sana kwanza trim ji introduce to vizuri ambia mafanzo ni nani majina ni john kenyanjui kitenji from nakuru bahati and uh, a farmer coffee farmer coffee farmer. Yes. Kenji, you're very young. Wakati ulikuwa unamaliza high school, what were your dreams? What did you want to do? What did you want to become in the future? Yeah. So, uh, when uh, I finished my form 4 in 2018, I really wanted to be a engineer. So, I went ahead and did my engineering. Mm -hmm. Now, you did engineering. Please tuambie masuala ya ukulima ili ingilia. First of all, uh, I was introduced to coffee to, uh, through my dad. Uh, he started uh, farming and then I joined hands. Uh, we did all the farming and then I went ahead and uh, thought of where will this coffee go? Where will this coffee go after being harvested? Is it a must that we take it through the, to the factory? How is the processing? How? How? That question how made me go deep into coffee. Mm -hmm. How did you learn about this training institute? Also tell us the name, where exactly it is, and also how much did it cost you for you to be able to learn everything you learned about coffee? So at first, after doing what we call farming, so I thought of joining an institute. Since I, had, I didn't have that much to pay, in an institute, so I went to Embu and joined an institution, also a factory that is called Warinu. And there is where I learned so much about processing, and it only cost me around 36 to 40,000. It went with the sessions, you are supposed to do like three sessions, that is a full year. So I finished, and then I was recommended to be processing and also taking coffee to another level. What next for you in the coffee space? I want to do barista so that I can take the qualities to coffee profile so that we, when we sell this coffee, we have the accurate profile of that our coffee so that we can do everything in one station. So when you were in the institution, were there other young farmers like you? Yes. How many were you? Uh, we were about 10. The factory accommodates 15 at a time. Now with all the knowledge that you got from your training institution, how are you impacting the lives of the farmers right here in the county? Yes, thank you. Uh, right now we are doing first harvest. So uh, right now we are doing the wet process. It is part of the processing of the coffee. Uh, we are not uh, putting much into transport and uh, so many, because we are doing it at the, the same place. Farm level. Farm level. Good. At farm level where we are using traditional method so that it can be cost uh, sufficient so that uh, every farmer can feel that coffee 
indeed is a gold. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now speak to the government. What do you think they need to do so that they can support more young people like you mm -hmm. to join the space of agriculture and not just joining agriculture but also making money in agriculture? Uh, we urge the government to put more uh, capital and bring young people into this practice because coffee indeed have money and young people can benefit from it. Mm -hmm. From where you sit, first because you come from a farmer, you've also learned, are you trying to encourage other people in Nakuru that coffee farming could actually be a gold that they can tap into? Uh, yes. First we are doing awareness so that uh, more we can have more farmers so that we can be stable, so that we can fill what the government says they are a micro unit and also we are encouraging other people to farm. Speak to the young person back at home who has a degree in something totally different like you do have in engineering but they have not been successful enough to get a job and there's space in agriculture like in the field, a degree in busy and Akwashamba. What do you have to tell them? So I want to talk to young farmers, uh, young people uh, in this lovely country that it is not only in offices where we can get something to put in the pocket. We can also do farming. We can also do processing. Processing uh, brings a lot of money because you don't need to go and farm. You only need to take care of that coffee uh, and manage it so that it can bring money. And young, fa young people, I wish you knew what is in the coffee processing. All right. Yeah. Thank you so very much, Kinyanji, for talking to us. Good job that you're doing. Now, when they look at you, you can see that you can see that you can see that you can see that the lives of the people in Nakuru County. Yeah. Good job. Now, there you've had it. That was our Agri Nation with our Agri Star, a very young man. Now, we promised you right here at Kenya's Gold that we are going to bring you inspiring stories from young farmers across the country. And Kinyanjui is a living testament of that. That is all we had for you in our Agri Nation and young people like you have had. There is gold in coffee. The time is now. There is absolutely no better time to be a young farmer like right now. Thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep watching Kenya's Gold. We do have a lot more on all matters agriculture. But for now, Kinyanjui. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.